It's so freaking hot. I need to change my clothes. That's a little better, but it's all black, so I'm gonna go. I've literally been playing Minecraft all day, but there's a good reason for it, because I wanted to. But no, seriously, today at work, it was just me, just me, doing freight. No one else, no one else was scheduled. It was me, myself, and I, and uh, because one of my coworkers yesterday wasn't able to even complete one little U-boat, I ended up having to do most of it yesterday, and then today, what we didn't finish yesterday, which should have been finished, honestly, if he was keeping pace with me, we would have been done a long time ago with it, but because he couldn't keep pace with me, I had to do all of yesterday's freight today, and then after that I had to do today's freight as well. And so I'm, I'm just like super tired, really exhausted, I really, normally, I can, in my opinion, feel like I'm dragging ass and still get all my work done really quickly. But today I had to really like step it up because I had more than twice what I'm normally supposed to have. So yeah, I'm exhausted. So I decided to do an activity that is both entertaining and engages me with my friends that doesn't require any, any actual strength or effort on my part. Uh, Plus it has the added bonus of really letting me get my creativity out. Uh, I used to play guitar for like a decade and uh, I got bored of it and stopped playing. And so like my, my ability to come up with my ideas and put them out there kind of stopped. But Minecraft for me is like my canvas and my keyboard and mouse are my paintbrush and the game allows me to get my creativity and all my ideas out somewhere into the world, the virtual world in this case. And so, really soothing. Soothing's the word I'm gonna use because it just makes me feel a whole lot better. But I'm gonna go get some food because I'm starving. And tomorrow, tomorrow's episode's gonna be way better. Doing something special for someone special. Not a special, special someone, but a yeah, close friend. And uh, so tomorrow's episode should be like way better than, than, the, than the combination of the last five or six of these, excluding my cousin's wedding, of course. So I'm gonna get food and something else will happen after this. I'm not sure yet, we'll see. We'll both see, we'll both be surprised. So today, was extremely uneventful. That's all there is to it. Um, yeah, that was, nothing happened. I just uh, got some food and spent like the last two hours in the living room where watch, watching uh, Rick and Morty. I've actually never seen the show before and so I've been watching a few episodes every couple days with him. And it's actually really good. It's hilarious. Uh, my friend Jesse used to make the, the joke, "Oh, bitch," and I never really understood it. And then I saw the episode. It's from Rick and Morty. It's hilarious. On a side note, he is cowering for whatever reason. I just came into my room, and he's just hiding like behind the door over there. And I didn't I have no idea why. He usually cowers when he knows he's done something stupid. That means he's either knocked over the garbage or, you know, he's pulled the laundry basket down and thrown stuff all over the place. He's a bad cat, but he knows when he's bad. And then he cowers because he knows I'm going to be a mad, mad guy. Well, tonight he's cowering, and I looked around the room. Nothing wrong. Everything's exactly where I left it. I have no idea why he was carrying for me. Take him. It's exactly as I left this place. Absolutely filthy. Um, 
I'm going to attempt to throw together a couple of my favorite time lapses in an interesting way, which might not be interesting at all. But that's pretty much going to be all of today. So, you know, don't go yet because there's still more stuff. But that's all, that's the last you're going to see of me. So go. This is a Ryan Little production.